Fossil has uh, recently announced and released their new Fossil Gen 5 Carlisle HR and Juliana HR. Uh, Fossil's Gen 4 smartwatches were, in my opinion, a nice update to their Gen 3 lineup with a more streamlined, less bezel and refinement um, in the Gen 4. The Gen 4 was a pleasure for me to use. I really enjoyed it. I had the Gen 3. I liked it, just the bezels were a little bit big in my opinion, but the Gen 4 kind of changes that a little bit. Um, I'm excited about the Gen 5. I've got the Gen 5 right here. I'm Matthew with Cool Stuff, and this is my Fossil Gen 5 unboxing and first impression. Hey guys, so just want to let you know price-wise, um, the, the Fossil Gen 5, um, Carlisle HR and Juliana HR are $395 um, each. Uh, that is considerably cheaper than the Summit Mont Blanc 2, uh, the Mont Blanc Summit 2, sorry, um, which also has the 1 gigabyte of RAM and the uh, Snapdragon Wear 3100 at $998. I believe so um, it's considerably cheaper for about the same performance wise um, as also the fossil um, sport watch has um, $275 so but it doesn't have the one gigabytes of RAM but that's more for your fitness focused people um, so it's $20 more for a more refined more watch and uh, looking smartwatch and for more of a uh, classier looking smartwatch in my opinion. So just want to let you guys know that. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put links in the video description below to both the Summit Mont Blanc or the Mont Blanc Summit 2. I don't know why I keep putting Summit first. Um, so I'll go ahead and put links to the Mont Blanc Summit 2 um, as well as the Fossil Sport Watch as well as the Fossil, a Gen 5, Juliana, and the Carlisle. So yeah, let's begin with the unboxing. Okay, so real quick, let's go over the specs of the Gen 5. The big upgrade internally is that the Gen 5 is running the newer Snapdragon Wear 3100. Most smartwatches go with the older Snapdragon Wear 2100. I believe the only watches that I know that use the 3100 are the Fitness Center Fossil Sport and the super expensive Mont Blanc Summit 2. I personally have no desire to spend almost $1,000 for a smartwatch. Along with the Snapdragon 3100, the Gen 5 packs 1GB of, of RAM. This doesn't seem like a lot, but in a smartwatch, the extra 500-ish megabytes uh, makes a big difference. Until now, the Mont Blanc was the smoothest smartwatch because of the 1GB of RAM. The Gen 5 is running the latest Wear OS, there is 8 gigabytes of internal storage, so let's go ahead and unbox this watch now. We've got the knife, so let's go ahead and just kind of cut right there. Cut here, and then we'll just go ahead and maybe there we go, and rip the plastic off. Something about ripping that plastic feels good. So when you first take off the plastic cover, you are greeted with the watch itself. So let's put this here. And let's go ahead and split that up. So here's the here's the watch. And then within the little container that holds the watch, you also have your fossil charging. This is the same as all the other ones, at least the Gen 4. And so if you have a Gen 4 and you upgrade to the Gen 5, you already have one of these, so you have two. But so we'll move that to the side. And then let's see here. We don't need this box, so let's throw it. Uh, we got some just a quick start how to do this. So we'll just keep that to the side. And then we got a massive book. I don't feel like reading, so we're gonna toss that as well. So here is the fossil gen 5. When first looking at the watch, it looks more refined. I like that Fossil, even with their earlier models, have made smartwatches 
that look like watches rather than a piece of tech on your wrist. Um, I have the Gen 4 right here, and you can kind of see it is about the same. Um, it is a little bit more um, refined. It has kind of a bezel on the side, but the bezel is uh, made out of metal, which is nice. So let's go ahead and move this. So on this smartwatch, you have an array of sensors throughout. There is an, uh, an accelerometer, an altimeter for measuring altitude, a ambient light sensor, a gyroscope, a heart rate monitor, microphones for taking calls and for Google Voice Assistant, NFC for payment, and untethered GPS. There is a built-in speaker for taking calls and hearing the Google Assistant and alerts. The watch has a 44mm case. It's a good size in my opinion, though I'd like to see Fossil make a 42 version for people with smaller wrists. I personally like to wear between a 44mm and a 45mm watch. Even though the Juliana HR, which is more directed towards the female crowd, only comes in 44mm, I'd like to see them kind of make it a little bit smaller for uh, the women and for people with smaller wrists. On the other side, there are three buttons here. Um, the rotating crown is right here in the middle, and which I believe that all smartwatches should have. With as small as the screens are, you don't want your fingers blocking content while scrolling through texts or notifications, and so I like that Fossil, even from the beginning, has really had that rotating um, crown, um, that dial rotating, so it's a good touch. Uh, Samsung has done something similar except they do it with the bezel and so There are also two customizable buttons here one here and one here um, above and below the crown um, Those you can change it to, to Program different things such as opening up your messages or open up your your emails um, it's, it's a nice touch Finally the watches use 22 millimeter straps which is nice in case you're planning to take the watch out for a workout and then turn around and go out with your friends. Uh, you can switch from a silicone strap to a classier leather or a metal band. Um, I've got a leather band right here, as you can see, um, in a dark brown. I also have another leather band right here, as you can see, for the Gen 4 in black. Uh, I can switch them out. I also have a couple, like, metal bands and a couple silicone bands so I like that I can switch them out with any 22 millimeter uh, watch band so that's always a good thing in my opinion. Overall I think that this watch looks and feels really good just by holding it. In a few weeks I'll try to do a review on this watch after kind of wearing it for a while and taking it out for a spin um, so until then uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I um, post a video, hit that bell icon. And then um, other than that, I'll see you guys later. See ya.